Hello. One day, I received this message from a Chinese young man named Wang. I only know him from Chinese social media, so I just said, congratulations. Then he said, no, I'm feeling a lot of pain right now. I asked him why. He answered me immediately, I'm gay, I like men. Oh, really? He sent me his wedding photo. I thought it was fake at first. Then, but he sent a photo of him and his wife. Then I realized he was telling the truth. And he told me the next day was his wedding day. He said, I'm so tired. I asked him, you should be with your wife tonight. What are you doing now? He told me, she is lying on the bed to watch TV. I'm sitting in a sofa and uh, smoking without a word. That made me sad that there are people in China that cannot be themselves and have to live a lie. Then I wanted to know how many people in China are living a lie like Wang. There are over 30 million gay men in China, and 90% of them have to pretend they are not and get married. Why? Because not marrying and having a baby boy is considered unfilial in China. For gay men, the most important reason is they don't want to make their parents feel shame. So I started, I started interviewing a lot of parents. I met a family of mine. I asked him, what would you do if your child was gay? For some reason, he felt he could be honest with me. He told me, actually, I'm gay. No one knows exactly how many gay men in China live a life like this. The, ch the children continue to make the same decisions, to get married, to continue to, to pretend they are not who they are. Then I realized the cycle needed to be broken. It's difficult for me to change the the man's, my parents' generation, but I thought maybe I can influence the behavior of the younger generation because one day they might be their parents themselves. Chinese family never discuss topics related to sex and definitely not be gay. Uh, the first step was to create a place to where the discussion could take place, but I thought why not in public? So I went to Beijing. Stood in the uh, middle of the busy square, wearing an outfit, I made that set, I'm gay, would you like to give me a hug? I used the blindfold to cover my eyes to put more emphasis on the message and not my face. Actually, I feel very nervous because I had no idea what would happen next. Then I heard a gentle voice. Hello, I don't know you, but I support you. Then I said, thank you, you are the first person to hug me. <laughs> 65 people give me hug in one hour for a country where it is unaccepted to be gay. That was very encouraging. But of course, the policeman come take off my blindfold and ask me to leave. I, need, I needed to continue my, the discussion in a safer environment. So I shared the video of the performance in so, social media to see if there would be a larger response. I, I wanted the video spread fast and far, so I paid a social media advertising company to promote it. Within an hour, I received this message. They sent my money back. They, they said that the content was restricted because it featured the word gay. Okay, then that for my American audience, it's very important to know, to realize it's very common in China. And that's something that I, Lindsay, have to had to design around. So I decided to post it without advertising on Weibo, uh, the Twitter of China, and surprisingly, the video got 3 million plays within five days. In comparison, in America, only video Taylor Swift and the cats got that many plays that fast. <laughs> Regardless, the Weibo removed my video from the hot list and changed the, uh, changed the playback number to 90,000 to make it look less 
popular? The response was amazing. One person said, uh, it moved them to tears. Even have the street people uh, change their outlook. Many old people asked uh, what, would, uh, what happened as a result of the performance in Beijing. So I wrote an article to explain. Uh, over 100,000 people read the article within 23 hours. The, then the article started spreading as fast as the video did. A conversation was starting. Even have two guys decided to come out after reading the article. One of the most moving pieces of feedback from a father was he said uh, mm, that now he feels the freedom to discuss the topic of being gay with his son. I was moved, but as a designer, I wanted to do more and uh, cause a bigger discussion. So, so far, they simply watch the video, like it, and comment. Mm, it's good, but not enough. I think uh, it re revolves around me. What can I do for them to take their own actions? Uh, I realize, uh, then I realize it would be more powerful if I can got them involved, such as recording themselves, sharing their point of view um, on their own social media. The goal of my thesis wasn't to help the young gay people to come out. In the end, you cannot force that. Rather, I wanted them to know that the people are supportive of their future son or daughter um, if they were gay. So I created the Together, an online gay liberation movement. I went straight again and asked people. We will accept it. I would be okay with it. I wouldn't have any problem. I would love them and accept them. <laughs> what I do if my child is gay? I'd say, thank God, me too. I just raised them as a normal person, as a normal kid, you know. Put your hand up. 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 Put your Oh my god. Because I can't accept myself, but I can't accept my child's life. I can't accept this question. I can't accept this question. Okay, that's what I can't accept. I can't accept this question. How to join the movement? First step, shoot a selfie video to answer what would you do if your son was gay. And the second, hold a sign that says together. Third, upload to Weibo or WeChat, a Chinese popular social network apps, and uh, hashtag together. Last one, invite three friends to do the same. Uh, my theory was that if I'm the only one posting a video, the government and social media companies can continue to stop me. But if hundreds and hundreds are doing the same, they won't be able to stop their hearts and minds. <laughs> 如果我们的孩子是同性恋的话现在我们参与了这个给予传递活动我们将要把这份爱传递下去我们会艾特我们的三位好朋友菲菲栋、李欣、如果你们的孩子是同性恋的话你们会如何面对 大家好，我是陈默寻。我是刘文斌。如果将来我们的孩子是同性恋，我们将选择依然爱他，支持他。我们在参加Together，可以向传递活动。我将爱我们三位好友何潇、王蕊、王文科。我想知道，如果你们的
and each of them have 1,000 friends. It will reach 400,000 people. That, uh, the growth is exponential. If this generation shows their support of gay people in social media, people will realize um, the, they, are not alone in, they are not alone in their thinking, and the acceptance will be more widespread. The government can keep a few people quiet, but it cannot keep everybody quiet. The only way to truly break the cycle is by working together. So I think the majority of next generation of Chinese young people will have not to lie about who they are. I hope one day I can take, this fo I can take a photo like this with my own child in China. Thank you. Let's play together.